Good day everyone, we are the group 4 who represent the first topic of arts appreciation. And with this, we will be together to learn and enjoy the first topic of this discussion. Needless to say, we are very familiar with arts because it exists everywhere, can be found in ourselves, which plays a large role in our daily lives. Everywhere there is art. When you travel from your home to school, such as the beautiful landscape gardens, skyscrapers, antique churches, and some murals that are voicing out for a source for a social or political adherence. Much more our clothes that we wear every day, and even the style of our hair and the way we interact with other people. Therefore, Art creates a language that we all understand as it appeals to our mind, awakens our emotions, and charms our senses which provide enjoyment when we try to understand and uncover things through art. Let us make our lives bright and colorful as we move towards the world of arts. As we go along to further know the field of art, The field of art and humanities, it is inevitable to determine the meaning of what truly art and humanities are. How important is this in our lives? Is this really matters? Is art and humanities really matters? These are some of the possible questions that are needed to understand, to make your mind clear and make this subject electrifying electrifying and accelerating before we proceed to the main topic let us first answer let us first answer the given clue or the word puzzle that tackles on this presentation so the first clue clue refers to any person object scene or event described or presented in a work of art so if kanang Maasira na medyo nato this one, di ba? Kay, di ba, if nanawon, so, isa one word, and, like, ma, kaya ba nato nga, ah, okay, ang answer din is subject, di ay, kay, refers to any person, object, or scene, so, kana, subject yung answer. And, the second clue is, comes from the Latin word. So, ang iyang missing lang is, isa, and then, ang iyang nabiling, ang wala mamising is tulo. And then, comes from the Latin word arts. Then, makanuna na ito nga, ah, ang answer din na ni is arts. And then, last is, it allow artists to reach a particular effect. So, if maminaw mo, so good sa introduction and uh, han, until mahuman ang discussion, maka-answer mo kung unsa ang Maka-answer ta ay makaibaw ta unsa ni nga kuan nga answer. Unsa unsa ang nawa ng mi kanang words or letters. So, if makaibaw if matan-aw na to number 2, ang iyang missing is letter A. So, if maani ta number 3, ang sunod dapo sa letter A ang nawa. So, makaibaw ta nga Arts, a uh, first word, and the second is a uh, second word is. So, so many medic, oh, medium. So, ang answer dani is arts medium. And thank you for cooperating. And let's proceed now the objectives on how and how we determine the object the objectives for this chapter we have three needed aims to achieve first distinguish the meaning of arts and humanities as well as the other disciplines in the study of humanities second appreciate the significance of art as a way to express one's emotion and feelings and Create an advocacy art foster that promotes the benefits and merits of arts and humanities in the lives of the people. 
More so, you will be informed if you have the cycle or the outline of our discussion. It will start as the main topic, art and humanities, and with a subtopic such as the meaning of arts, the nature of arts, the difference between arts and humanities, the subject used in arts, and lastly, medium of the arts. Let us now start our discussion by understanding arts and humanities. Understanding arts does not mean you have to enjoy it or like the art at all. Also, art involves understanding the worldview of the artist. And humanities encompasses the full range of human thoughts and creativity including language, languages, religion, philosophy, and the broad spectrum of the arts including the performing arts and the visual arts. And to know the deep meaning of and to know the meaning of the this discussion, let us proceed the meaning of arts to be discussed with Crystal Torres. Good day everyone. So my topic is all about arts. So what comes in our minds when we encounter the word arts? So the first come in our minds is the different paintings and artifacts. So many many of you are know the meaning of arts but some kanang napasilay mga questions in their minds. So what is art? Art, it is a diverse range of human activity and resulting product that involves creative or imaginative talent, expressive of technical proficiency, beauty, emotional power, or conceptual ideas. So, ang arts ka nang mauni, ang ka nang anhi na to ma-express, ang ato mga feelings and emotions through drawing, making paintings, and mga artifacts so ani ma ato ang ma-imagine mag-imagine ta mga aliens mao ni ato ang ma-drawing so example for this is the movie of every child special so kay bawo man ta limoning salidaa every child special ang bata wa sa nag excel sa ubang subject sa english sa math science ato sa nag excel sa arts kay ijahang imagination is kanang wide wide unja naka create sa mga drawings through his imagination the word art is derived from the latin arts means skills or craft these meanings are still primary in other english words from arts such as artifact a thing made by human skill and artisan a person skilled at making things there is no one universal definition of art. The definition and perceived value of works of art have changed throughout history and in different cultures. So, years by years, ang kanang meaning sa arts nagka-evolve. Nagka-evolve na si Jala sa ijahapong the way na maghimo kag mga drawings nagkahuan na, na change na because of globalization kay sa una murag handmade 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 pa but now we have a lot of technologies that we can use to um to make our arts drawings right The definition of art has been debated for centuries among philosophers. What is art? It is the most basic question in the philosophy of aesthetics which really means. So, kanida yung art sa una is dibatihan pa ni sa mga philosophers o kung sabad yun ay meaning sa arts. So, the first is the meaning of Seneca. All art is but imitation of nature. Tumutuo mo daaron na ang art ko no, ma-imitate na sa, sa nature, makita na to sa nature. Yes! Ma ang art, mahuan na to sa nature because when I was in my junior high school, 
among maisa sa mape gipa gawa, gipatan ami sa gawa sa mong bintana para daw na ami ma sud sa among imagination ug unsay among gustong i-drawing nga mao hangi drawing kay about the nature so second is art completes what nature cannot bring to a finish the artist gives us knowledge of nature and realized and so ang pagsabot daani is through our imaginative imagination kanang makakreate ta bitaw og kanang mga wide pa na mga mga detailed picture in our minds pina aristotle aristotle lang ang meaning third is art is the unceasing effort to compete with the beauty of flowers and never succeeding attributed to make change So, understandable naman yung mga meaning, no? Sa so, di lang naman yung nasa i-explain. Art evokes the mystery without which the world would not exist by Rene Magritte. And next, art is a discovery and development of elementary principles of nature into beautiful forms suitable for human use by Frank Lloyd Wright. And next, the purpose of art is washing the dust of daily life of our souls and lastly the meaning of Leo Tolstoy of art art is a human activity consisting in this that one man consciously by means of certain external signs hands on to others feelings he has l lived through and that others are infected by these feelings and also experience them so in general Art is part of our lives. Kaya nga naman, through art, ana na ito, huwa na ito, mapagawas na ito, ito mga feelings, kaya tayo, naitig ka ka ron, or mga happy ka, so makagama ka, o ka ng drawing, through your emotions, expressions, and through your imaginative skills. But art is part of our lives, kaya through our imaginative, Part sa life sa tao ang art sky. Ani nila ma-express ang di nila ma-express through words. Ma-express nila by drawings and making paintings. And why do we need art in our lives? The reasons why we make art are many. We use arts for entertainment, cultural appreciation personal improvement and even social change we use arts in order to thrive in this world that's all thank you hi guys are you feeling good are you mentally and emotionally okay and by the way i am bruno cafe jr and my topic is all about the nature of art nature and arts can take visual forms from pluralism to abstraction ang arts nagpakita kung gaun sa natin pag-visualize ang object to form any visual imaginations to form arts. And also, arts can mimic nature. Na more replicate sa mga butang kung unsa na ito paglantaw in real life and the relevance of nature in a form of arts. And there are so many categories in arts such as literature, including poetry, drama, story and so on arts doesn't really focus about making visual graphics like it also focuses about how we be able to create our creativity in a form of drama stories poetry how we can able to express our thought the second is visual arts sa itong nakita karon, like mga paintings sculptures sa mga museum like Uh, historical backgrounds graphic arts including paintings also graphic arts the plastic arts like sculpture or modeling sa itong nakita ka ron in the form of plastic we can, f can make any sculpture like himotag pottery magamatag sulalag sa buwak example sa mga example sa nasa art Next one is the decorative arts. Like, atong ipanggamit ka ron in a modern world. 
sa mga bed, furniture, like cabinet na kita to unsay mga designs nila. Mga giunsay nila pag scrap pag create og designs na mo nindot sa atong punan aw. And also the categories arts are the performing arts like theater, dance and music. Mo na apil mo na apil man siya. Tungod kay ang theater it can it also produce expressions and being creative on how we able to perform to create a widely widely in, intangible and create create provide an architecture architecture often include interior designs like around the in the modern world unsa na to pag pag fit sa usa ka room sa interior design siya kung mo bagay ba sa mong bahay diba it can also be an art and also art is basically creation by human beings though they are natural creation that are no less than best piece of visual arts art is influenced by human beings to produce, produce natural processes like pagkita na kung yun sa nato paghimo ang usa ka arts nagadepende sa atong skills kung sa ta kama mo produce og arts na mo pakita og isang value bisag sa panahon karon in terms of civilizations and globalizations the technology it changes and develop but despite that we're able to give value sa atong mga personal and handmade product nature has always been kind enough to inspire hordes of artists and the impact on nature and natural object has been more than evident on artworks of artists down the civilizations ug daghan na kaayong mga artists ang na-influence sa sense of naturalistic that are more on nature na nakaproduce sila og mga piece na nagabase sa net nature and the realistic na evidence sa mga panahon karon. Next one is the importance of nature. Nature can be simple add on the paintings to convey a sense of depth or perspective. Just like the nature can be recreated through art. It can also be used as a stand in a greater thought. A realistic depiction of mountain, for example, can symbolize not only the subline but also the curiosity of the unknown. The relevance of nature na nagpagbiling supreme no, supreme man na naghatag og dakong ta impact in visual arts. Kung unsa man ato pag emphasize ang saka ang atong thought, imaginations and perspective. And what is the difference between arts and nature? Art tries to replicate things natural but nature will also be remain supreme, di ba? There are also another difference between arts and nature and its manner in which much deeper meaning is conveyed by artists on his canvas, though he appears to mimic nature. However, howsoever, beautiful in creation by humans may be art, can never be better or more beautiful than nature itself. The combination of arts Nature allows to explore the natural in the world, create a profound meaning for themselves. Na mo connect sa mga people through understanding nagpasabot kung unsa nila pagview sa isa ka artwork. Throughout the time, artists use nature gamit ang to be the muse and motivation. Nature can provide endless forms and inspiration. And it can be critical theme in the form of arts in these recent days. Just like Henry Mitte said, artists must possess nature. Artists use nature to express themselves and enable them to understand their work on a deeper level. Indulge with mastery that enable them to express their emotions and create their own language. And the influence of the artists are the mediums of artists who used 
and create their pieces are from nature like wood charcoal graphite clay mixed pigments and water artists literally use nature to create their own works the way the cave dwellers create paints to document their own and their walls in the essence of the same exact process that we use today and th there's so many artists who are able to influence by the nature to, to being their influential team team and the two, the two of them examples are Claude Monet his impression to create a piece entitled Impression Sunrise as you can see in the the PowerPoint the how precise and efforts to create a best piece the second one is Vincent van Gogh his theme is all about flowers nature he emphasizes how beautiful the flowers and able to create the meaning of it irises type and that's all Thank you. Good day, everyone. Now let's proceed to the third question. What is the difference between arts and humanities? Ano nga ba ang pagkakaiba ni arts and humanities? This interesting question needs to have a unique and accurate answer. Ano nga ba ang pagkakaiba ng dalawa in terms of the characteristic, objectives, and benefits to people, culture, and in the Philippine history? Those questions will be answered in the next, next slide. Okay. So, what did you observe? Ano yung napapansin nyo? In the left side, the one being highlighted there is the word art. And in the right side, of course, it's obviously a human that's symbolizing humanities. Okay. What are the, what are the things that's common? Ano yung common? Elements of art. The size, the color, the textures, and so on. Now, let's proceed with arts. When you hear the word art, what comes up in your mind first? Anong unang pumapasok sa isip nyo kapag nakakarinig kayo ng word na art? Maybe some of you might say, art is drawing, art is painting, art is literature. If that's what you're thinking, then you are exactly correct. But if you say non-living things and living things like plants, animals, and humans, then you are also exactly right. Tama ka, sakto ka. Because it is indeed an example of art. Because art is everything. Now proceed to the right side. Humanities. Root word, human. It obviously focuses on humans and its relationship and connection to any other aspects, disciplines, and fields. Okay, now let's proceed and find out what could be the mysteries behind the difference between arts and humanities. May pagkakaiba nga ba in terms of the concept, the purpose, and the examples? Starting with the word art. It is basically related to sculpture, music, painting, theater, and literature. Sir, sir, manong na-appeal mas is sculpture ni art, manong na-appeal mas is music ni art, which is music is a subject and art is subject too. Manong na-appeal mas is painting, si theater, si literature. Let me discuss something. First, sculpture, it uses imagination, the sense of creativity to create a wonderful and beautiful artworks in the most creative way, which is the fact that hinggamit siya definition or process sa art is also considered an art. Music and theater, you kanta siya? You compose siya? Perform siya? Dear, you know? Example of arts is uh, performing arts, and music and theater is part of it. And painting! No one can change that painting is one of the common examples of arts, and it is proven man sad. Then literature, uh, just by reading, just by writing, you are applying the concept of art. 
of art char the next a creative activity that expresses imaginative and technical skills like i said a while ago that art uses the sense of creativity and imaginations to make our artworks beautiful and technical skills using technology to enhance our artworks mm. then have more to do with the act of creation itself, whether true performance or physical production works. Dara, diri makita tong music and theater. Na, na ang art, di lang basta drawing lang, di lang painting lang, but also performing, drama, poetry, music, theater, and so on. Of course, all things in the world has a purpose, and art is one of those. Hindi pwede mawala si arts. Purpose. Help to improve our sense of achievement and pride. Sir, manong nanapi achievement and pride. We're just drawing it. We're just going to paint. We're just going to sculpture. Mano, sir, sculpture. We're just going to execute it manually. Manong na may achievement, achievement. Well, to be honest, or frankly speaking, frankly speaking lang ha, if you are going uh, to conduct an activity or painting or drawing specifically, you are achieving something. You are gaining something. Have you been familiar with the Philippine artists in history? Like Juan Luna, Napoleon Nueva. They're the well-known artists and unique, because of their unique um, skills and they achieve something. Because they such uses the creativity and imagination. And that's the purpose of art, to teach us how to be creative, to teach us and learn something, and achieving at the same time. Both self-confidence. Have you tried comparing sa mga tao nga hing undergo art just because of boredom, and sa mga tao nga hing undergo art because they love it? Just compare their output. Mas... Di ka aya aya or inappropriate patong ginama sa mga taong warang born slave like uban bi tao nga hago apa ni utig drawing drawing oi kapit ka po sige na matagpasa ani and compare tong uban nga wow may more bitaw smile ra bi using love tenderness sa ilang output now wa it reflect sa ilang output sad moody or uban pa mag reflect siya then wala makabo siya confidence because you are doing the the concept of arts then to communicate someone nonverbal communication it communicates someone just by looking at the output just looking at by the artworks it conveys a lot of messages a lot of uh, inspirational messages na maka-inspire sa sa uban. Speaking of inspiration, to inspire other people. Sa mga tao nga agig kangit-ngit, sa mga tao nga nasa kadag-um ngan karon, in people in the darkest times, art brings light. Art brings hope to be or to improve and be successful in the future. Then promote culture. Ano na film si culture? Culture, it will never be a culture without arts. Partner ni sila. Because art existed in the past. And culture sa culture sa una, art is there. You're dancing, writing, drawing, painting. And that explains why. Then, to be able to know that art is everywhere. Sir, sir, man na everywhere, man na po ng arts, nga drawing yun, mga tamakita, mga tanata, mahawiran. No, dear. Art is everywhere. Just, just look around you. Trees. Animals, the walls, infrastructure, or even like humans, family. They're into the creations of art. What specifically? The creation of God. Hmm. siya sa ginoo. Of course, tama ko ba? Ginawa siya sa ginoo. The creation of God acquiring the process or the concept of arts. And examples. Hmm. Las Damas Romanas painted by Juan Luna. It depicts with the cultures in the Spanish era. Then, planting rice painted by Fernando Amorsolo. It shows the Filipino cultures, how hardworking they are, how resilient Filipino is, and how they sacrifice their time in planting rice 
to suffice the needs of their family. And Transfiguration sculptured by Napoleon Abueb, but it's one of my favorite artworks because it focuses on God saving us from our sins. So that's it. I hope we are clear in this part, the art, its concept, purpose, and examples. Now let's proceed with humanity. So we can now learn and know on some of humanities. Humanities use arts to express human experiences. Sir, sir, man, appeal man si art ng humanities. Nga apply ba ng arts, di ba? Humanities is a general field of study. Na halos tanang field maapil sa it could be history, literature, culture, religion, philosophy, or even arts. And mainly, humanities use arts. Arts to express the human experiences since it tackled humans. What mo? Magtackle sa disag human experiences. It have to do more in research and critical analysis. You know what I like in humanities because it an it has a credible information coming from the credible sources or facts. It highly experimented or being observed. So very authentic the cha, katuhuan, provenance, and very credible. Then, so the purposes, okay, help to express ourselves. It helps to improve ourselves, help to show the version of ourselves. O kinsa madata isip usa ka tao, kinsa ta isip usa ka citizen in the country, o kinsa ta sa tibuok kalibutan as a whole. Then next, help to feel the social connection with people live in the past and in the present as well. Of course, proven na nga makaantag social connection personally in the present, but how about in the past? Just by reading history books coming from the humanities, you can now interact sa mga panghitabo in the past. So hero sacrifices, sa cultures, and ugsaoban pang mga historical events. Then bring enlightenment. Sa mga uncertainties, confusions, o sa mga unanswered ng mysteries until now, it bring enlightenment. Ang ani din ni siya, ang ani din paagi dito ni sakto. It just like it puts you back kung ahak ka dapat. It puts you into right place. Then promote history and culture. Again and again, the history and culture should always be part in humanities. Then to educate, tanaman sang tanaman sang field the study educate, mo educated siya and that's good because humanities educate halos tanan. Then provokes emotion and wisdom. Humanities dili lang siya mo improve physically, mentally, socially, but also intellectually and emotionally. Then examples the history. Arts, philosophy, English, and religious studies. Charang, that's the examples of humanities. So okay, that's it. If there's someone asks you, "Unsa may kalahian ni arts ng humanities?" Just answer like this: Art use um medium to communicate human beings about happenings in the past and in the present, while humanities use arts. Arts to express human experiences, and that's all. Thank you. Good day, everyone. So now let's proceed to the subjects used in art. As we all know that we students, or from the previous or in today's times, most of artists use the variety of subjects in making their arts. But before we tackle about the subject using arts, let's have a brief recap on about what is the meaning of the term subject or the subject of art. Because some of students might confused and think first the academic subjects. So here it is. So what is a subject? So, what's the meaning subject, ma'am? What's the meaning subject, sir? So, let's not confuse to the subject an academic 
to between this subject that we are about to tackle because the subject of art refers to any person, object, scene, or event described or represented in a work of art. So, the subject of art, it is about on what is the topic or the main focus of our artwork. Unse ato ang gustong itopic or i-drawing. Like, for example, in animals, scenery, or any other things that is about the topic. So, mana siya ang subject. So, in general, subject may be thought of as the what in a piece of art. So, mana lagi ito kong ingon nga. What? Kung sa may topic sa imuhang artwork. Iro ba ni siya? Or sa scenery ba ni siya? Or kung sa yung focus sa imuhang artwork. So, next is the most common subjects of art include people or portrait arrangements of objects or still life natural world or landscape and abstraction or non-objective Another subjects of art include animals, oh katong gisulat giingon ganina. Everyday life and figures. So now let's proceed to the first subjects which is a portrait. Portrait an artistic representation of a person such as drawing, photograph, or sculpture. So, kaya naman tao sa portrait? So, whether your artwork is a drawing or a photograph or a sculpture, as long as person niyang naa sa mong artwork, it is under and considered in the subject portrait. Many artists did self-portrait their own faces provided them unlimited opportunities for character study. So, mag, ang mga artists put ko no, kay mag mo sila self-portrait, kay aron, para ko no, ila, na sila unlimited opportunities na makastudy sa with various character. So, here is the example of the first subject using art, which is the portrait. So, Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. It is considered as a portrait, right? Okay. Tao man na kay siya tao. The next is the bust of Aphrodite. It is also considered a portrait. Bust means an aridas upper, upper part sa kani. Kani. Okay, mo siya kita bug bust of Aphrodite. The next is oh, kani Frida Kahlo self portrait with flowers. So nagkimon siya self portrait niya kay Aron. Nasa unlimited opportunities to study the character with different. Next is. Still lives or arrangements of objects. So, mayon gitag still lives. Still life work has been one of the most popular types of art. These are groups of inanimate objects arranged in an indoor setting. Flower and fruit arrangements, dishes, food, pots and pans, musical instruments, and music sheets. The arrangement is like that to show particular human interest and activities. So, mayon gani tag still lives. It is basically arrangement of objects. Pwede ra siya mga plato, flower, or fruits or bisag unsa nga things as long as naka arrange naka arrange siya pag pesto. So, these are the example of still life or arrangements of objects. Hmm.
So, gi-arrange arrange siya. So, mo siya gisa. Gitawag og stay life. So, by Juan Sanchez, kotan on 1560 to 1627. So, queens, cabbage, melon, and cucumber. So, gihimo ni niya on 1602. 1602. San Diego Museum Art. Then, another example of still life is this one. I don't know who is the artist of this because I got this in the Google. So, this one. Pan. Then, cake. Then, fruits. Basta arrange lang siya nga pag display. That is what we call subject of still life. Next, this also. Oh, the arrangement of plate, the what we call the old picture, I think. So, this is also an example of still life or arrangement of objects. Next is natural world or landscape. So, from the world, natural world. Mag then landscape now uh, sceneries so a landscape is an artwork whose primary focus is natural scenery right then such as mountains forest rivers and rocks it can take many forms including a drawing a painting a sculpture and an etching so natural world when we say natural world Makita ra gud sa ato ang kuan mga chocolate hills, mga Maria Cristina Falls, kung gusto mo mag paint ana og kanang mga bulkan mayon. So that is consider an subject in natural world or landscape. So here is the example of a subject in landscape. Oh, di ba? Chocolate hills is considered a landscape. A subject of landscape. Kung magunahan mo mag-drawing chocolate hills. Okay. Ay, sa una, katang elementary, nag-himubayat ay chocolate hills. Ato sa una, bukan mo yun. So, our art before is what we call the subject of landscape. Then, the other one example is by Fernando Amor Solo. Ante Polo. So, gi, ang main focus ani is the mountains don't mind the people there kay marsalagan sag palamuti sa yahang painting mura but ang gi focus jud ani niya kay is kanisiya mountains mga natural scenery like that next subject used in art is abstraction so or non-objective. So, na naman ta ni sa una, pag high school, naghi mo ta mga abstract. Nang, may pattern-pattern, ba? So, abstraction is defined by its use, its use of geometric forms that suggest simplicity and purity by using shapes, patterns, sharp edges, and often bright colors. Non-objective art displays interesting and imaginative work. So, when we say abstraction nga subject nga use in art, may nga natag geometric or pattern or shapes like that. Like this, for example. This one. It is related of the subject abstraction kay na shape pattern. Red, white, red, white. Then, napod siya shapes then the bright color some of it is bright color so this one is an example of abstraction or a non-objective another is this one it has a shape circle it does also have a pattern orange yellow then Tapos siya geometric, siya, ratio. Ay, kanang 
circle. Then the last one of example of the subject of abstraction is this one. Tapos siya'y pattern. Na siya'y pinakorb niya. Pina-straight mo siya. 3D siya. Naglakaw. Ara siya ka mul Ara ka mulakaw. So, black and white. This is also example of abstraction. The next one subject is about the Kay ba naman eh? Kay na picture. Animals. So, as what I've said earlier, animals is also a subject used in art. Sagara na to, hindi mo tag-iro. So, animals, they have been represented by artists from all, from almost every age and place. In fact, the earliest known paintings are representation of animals in the walls of caves. So, ang kinaunhan day nga, painting sa una kay, nga gi-cave sa, nga gi sa, scope sa cave kay, ang subject nga, animals. The carabao has been a favorite subject of Filipino artists. So, pag elementary na to kay, gato ang kuan ba subject is, Animals. So, carabao. So, here is the example of the subject using art in which under the animals. Okay, animals man. So, animals ang topic or main focus sa painting. So, this one is one of the example of the topic or the subject animals. Then, the other one, I made this in the year 2018. It's it is the topic about an ostrich walking in river. I think it is a river. So next is subject using art, which everyday life. When you get everyday life, so mga observation yung makita nato sa libot or mga gipangbuhat nato sa tong mga balay or whatsoever mga everyday life so everyday life artists have always always shown a deep concern about life around them many of them have recorded in paintings their observation of people going about their usual ways and performing their usual tasks so maunalagito everyday life so kintahayog ako mag paint ko, kung sa akong makita sa akong palibot nga, ilang gipambuhat kita, hey, naglakaw. So, makonsider na siya o subject under the everyday life. So, here is the example of everyday life subject. So, kanin siya. Sa una pa siya. Mapainting. Ni by Fernando Amorsolo. Lavandera means manglaba. So, manglaba sa una, wala pa may hinay-hay. So, <laughs> iyang gibutaw sa ubos iyang hinayhay. Lavandera. So, this is one of the example of the subject, everyday life. So, si Fernando Morsolaan ni Goro, kasi iya ni asawa, iya siya, or iya na Goro ni imagination, i, nga, sa una nakita pa niya, iyang gipaint ang bainga ng laba. So, mara siya ang everyday life. Next is figures. The sculpture's chief subject has traditionally been the human body, nude or cloth. So, ang chief sculpt sculptures sculptural chief kuno kay ang always niyang subject is about the human body, nude or mga nang gihobo like the Greeks before, like. Venus, like Aphrodite, nga mga figures. Or, uh, the other one is the cloth. A favorite subject among painters is the female figure in the nude. Nga nung ganahan man sila, female figure in the nude. So, umingon tag 
female figure in the nude, maka huna-huna ta atong mga Greeks, mga god, gods and goddesses like Venus, like Aphrodite. So, this is the example of the figures. Figure. So, oh, Venus, the Milo or Milo. C150 before Christ. So, ngayon ang painters kay ganahan man sila female nga nude figure just because it is because be, to them physical beauty was the symbol of moral and spiritual perfection. Thus, they portray their gods and goddesses as possessing perfect human shape. So, Mode ito nga ganahan sila nude nga figures because ato. So, that's my part. And that's all. Thank you. Hello, good day everyone. So now, we will discuss about the mediums of the arts. So, what is medium of the arts? When we were in our younger years, um, we drew houses, people, flowers, and animals with our pencils. Then, in high school, we discovered ink and moist colors um, and slowly we learn about and switch to oil pastels acrylic paintings and liners to make our arts uh, more realistic do you know that all of these art supplies are called mediums so in art mediums refers to the substance the artist uses to create a piece of artworks so ang medium ko no in arts uh, mo ni sila ang mga butang nga gamiton sa artist para magama sa ilang piece of artworks each artistic medium has its characteristics and requires special skills to reach the desired results. Um, they create different moods, have diverse textures, and various and address various creative needs. Mediums are not just tools; they help artists make a statement. So, each artistic medium kuno kay naanak sila ilahang characteristics and nagrequire na sila og skills para makuha ni mo ang gusto ni mga results. So, they create different moods. So, mo ko na sa magamaog different moods. Uh, mo na yung kanang, mo na yung maghatag og diverse textures sa art. And, uh, mo na yung maghatag og various creative needs sa imong gigama ng art. So, mediums ko no, kay Dira siya um, tool. Um, mo ko na, mo po ko no na yung naghatag sa artist o tabang para makagala, makagama sila statement para sa ilang artworks. Um, the, uses, the use of word mediums apply to all types of artwork as well. Sculptors, for instances, may use metal, wood, clay, bronze, or marble for their mediums. Printmakers may use words like woodcut, linocut, and itching, engraving, and lithography to, to describe their mediums. So, <clears throat> ang paggamit ko sa word nga medium applies na siya sa tanang kaklase o artwork sa artwork so parahan na kung mga sculpture ko no um, pwede sila magamit o kanang mga materials like metal, wood, clay, bronze mga nga na para sa ilahang um, kuan ng medium nga para silang artworks um, so artists who use multiple media in a single piece of artwork typically call it mixed media so ang artist ko no nga magamit o multiple media para sa ilang single artwork mo ko na siya gitawag og mixed media which is common na siya for techniques like a collage so um if you're wondering um the plural of medium is media so mo na siya so one piece of artwork can be made of one medium or several media so ang ang one piece ko no og artwork pwede na siya himuon og isa ra ka medium or daghan nga media um to understand more about media here are some examples so if you been ever to an art museum or gallery, you've probably seen those little lines, a signs next to each piece that looks something like this. So, oil in canvas, tempera on wood, ink on silk. All of these items are media. So, kanit sila tanan is media sila. They describe each item the artist used to make the art. So, nag-describe sila sa mga item na gigamit sa artist sa art. So, therefore, na... Oil and canvas are both media used to describe that particular work. So, patong 
um, oil and canvas, um, media na sila nga gigamit para ma-describe ang kato nga particular nga works. Sometimes, this can be a very important part of how the piece of art is interpreted. So, usahay, mukunin ni ang important nga butang um, kung unsaon pag-interpret sa isa ka-art. Different materials carry different significance. For example, if a certain wood is considered sacred, then using it indicates that this piece of art is, a very, is very special. So, um, ang different materials kay na sila ilay lahang important siya. Um, para anang if a certain wood kuno is kanang sacred, kung gamito na siya para magama o piece of artwork, mahimo ko na siyang special. Kay sacred man ang gigamit nga kanang medium which is the wood. Um, or if an artist uses an uncommon medium, um, parahaan ng let's say it's a garbage or basura, it helps that artist make a statement. So makatabang ko na sa anang artist nga makagama o statement sa iyahang artworks. Here are examples of mediums in arts. In the visual arts, we have paint, ink, crayons, charcoals, and watercolors. In sculpture, we have chalk, wood, bronze, and marble. In performance arts, um, we have the body of the performer. Um, in writing, um, we have the pen or writing software. Um, in internet art, we have the programming tools. So, there are endless possibilities that we can do in choosing our medium in arts. So, even virtually, anything can be used by artists in infinite combinations. So, daghan kaitang magamit o nga medium sa atong gamon nga arts kung magama ta. Even virtually, kung virtual ta magama, um, bisan un sa ato pwede na to magamit. Depende na lang sa atong creativity o imagination. Let me give you another example. So, these are examples of mediums that are used in arts. So, the first one is the medium Michelangelo used to create David in 1501 to 1504, which is the marble. Second one is Alexander Calder's tables employ painted steel plates. And the last one is Marcel Duchamp's infamous fountain in 1917 um, was made with a porcelain medium. If you're wondering if what are the arts look like, here it is. The first picture is Michelangelo's David. I know it is an art, but na ako part nga gisensored kay ba sidi buganahan. Uh, the second picture is Alexander Calder's Tabal. So mao na ang art ni Alexander Calder's Calder. Um, the last picture is mo na Marcel's The Champs Fountain. So mo na siya ang fountain nga artwork ni Marcel. Arts comes in all shapes and sizes. Different arts mediums allow artists to reach particular effect, convey their message, and establish a certain atmosphere in their works. So, ang arts kay nana siya sa tanang shapes o tanang sizes. Ang lain-lain nga mediums may mag-allow sa artist um, para sa ilahang para makabot nila ang kanang ilang desired nga effect um, unsa ilang message nga gihatag o uh, magama o atmosphere sa ilahang art. Some are perfect for uplifting sunny landscape. Um, the others are great to recapture the obscure and mysterious mood. We can create luminous and airy pictures with watercolors and pastels. Um, draw precise and detailed works with ink or mix different mediums to get the best of each. I believe there is no such thing as the best medium. Everything depends on the artist or our preferences, ideas, and creative objectives. The most important thing is that we can express ourselves the way we want to. That's all. Thank you. Thank you for sharing your ideas, Remy, about arts, about medium of arts. So, to end this discussion, let us know the conclusion or the summarization of our topic. The subject of art refers to any person, object, or event described or represented in a work of art. The most common subjects of art include people, ar arrangement of objects, natural world, world, and abstraction. Art tries to replicate things natural but nature will always remain supreme. However, beautiful the creation by humans may be, art can never be better or more beautiful than nature itself so that's it for today that it's
that's the end our, of our topic and I hope that naamoy na sabdan about sa arts and unities. So, questions or any violent reactions about our discussion, if maawa mo mo ingan, you may chat individual, mo chat mo na mo individually or sa mga member na ko uban na ko or sa mga lead, leader nga si Vincent. If na mo clarifications about sa among topic. So, to end, before I end this discussion, let us first know what Ronald Reagan said. The arts and humanities teach us who we are and what we can be. They lie at the very core of the culture of which we're a part. Thank you and thank you for listening to our discussion.